Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. Welcome new subscribers. I love you. I appreciate you and I thank you. Here doing a general reading for Pisces. It's not personal, it's general. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, I've already shuffled Sage Braid over your cords and laid down some overall energies. And you had a lot of things <coughs> that's going on with you right now. This is for the end of May or whenever you see it. Or whenever you see it. Pisces, it looks like you had a new beginning or somebody promised you a new beginning. Looks like you're closing something out. You're closing cycles out. Looks like you're, you're, you, you, you had a breakup here. You were dealing with somebody that was emotionally unavailable for you. You had to cut this person off. Or maybe this is how this person is feeling about you. Looks like there could have been... Um, you've definitely ended something. You're done with somebody. This was stressing you out. Somebody has big regrets here. Somebody wasn't stable. Possibly told you they had this that and the other and they did it they always promised things they never came through but looks like somebody's wanting to heal something somebody doesn't want something to end here somebody someone has trouble moving on looks like there could have been a third party here too because we got the five of swords and the three of cups that came out together there was a lot of manipulation. There was somebody that was playing a lot of games with you, head games. <clears throat> this could have been you, Pisces. I don't. I don't know. Y'all know y'all story. Y'all know y'all story. So let's see what your love cards are. Your romance angels. We have yep, deception. Mm hmm. Somebody was wearing a false mask, and you were very attracted to this person. Attraction. Let's get some more energies out here for you, Pisces. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What other information does Pisces need to know about their situation? The devil is wanting to come out. <clears throat> Something was very toxic here. Something was very toxic here, Pisces. Yeah, somebody, ooh, somebody could have just been, like, very promiscuous here. Pisces, I, I hope that wasn't you. Somebody was very promiscuous. What else we got for Pisces? More overall energies for Pisces. Okay, Prince of Swords and the Star card. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius, but somebody still got hope in this situation here. And we have the Prince of Swords spying. Someone's definitely looking, checking you out. Because mm -hmm. you're looking good right now. Whoever did you, if somebody did you dirty, they definitely look, looking at you looking real good at this time. Very abundant. Getting attention. There was a lot of secrets in this situation. A lot of secrets. What we have? The seven of wands. You're putting the boundaries down now. You standing up you standing up for yourself. Yeah, you, you possibly blocked, had to block somebody. We have the Herophant. Could have been dealing with somebody that was married and you didn't know anything about it. And the seven of swords definitely was dealing with a snake. Yeah, and whoever this person is, you have the, the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Somebody's wanting to come in and not offer you something stable, but you better be careful because look how he got his fingers crossed behind his back. This person is lying to you. Somebody's going to be coming in lying, so be aware of that, okay? Be aware. You got a liar coming towards you. Definitely got a liar coming towards you. Let's get some clarification here. 
Let's get some clarification. Yeah, because you got deception here too on the table. Somebody's coming at you. And this person is possibly still married. But you're going to put your boundaries down here on this person. They spying on you. and ooh, They doing a lot. Why is a star card here for Aquarius? We have the um, Queen of Pentacles. So this lets me know that you're very focused on yourself and the people that are around you. You're taking care of your business, you know. You, you know, you focus on your money. Yeah, you, you're very abundant. You're showing up very abundant that you're taking care of yourself. Why is the star card here? Yeah, the death card in the reverse. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but somebody doesn't want something to end. Why is the Prince of Swords here? This person is still is spying on you. Or maybe this is what you're doing. The Two of Swords. Somebody's trying to make it. Somebody's very indecisive about you. <coughs> maybe, you know, you had to make a decision on whatever it is that you found out. Or this person. You know, I don't know. It goes, it goes both ways. Why is the Two of Swords here with the Page of Swords, guys? <coughs> The Nine of Pentacles. You found out some information and you was like, guess what? I'm going to be single. I'm doing this alone, period. Period. Nine of Pentacles is here twice. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, guys? Yep, you closed this up. <clears throat> you ended a cycle. You're starting new beginnings for yourself. Why is the World card here? You successfully, successfully ended something that was no longer serving you. We have the Temperance card. Yeah, you're getting yourself balanced here. And someone wants balance with you. Someone wants a, wants a victory, success. And this is what you're going. You're getting a lot of attention. Whatever you're doing, you're, very, you're going to be very successful at it. Some of you guys are starting a new business here. And you're going to be very successful at it. You're, going to get, you're getting recognized, Pisces. You're getting recognized. Somebody wants to offer you something now. But you got to be careful because... The Seven of Swords, somebody is sneaky. Look at this. This person is sneaky. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I want to know now. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah. They say they want to offer you something, but it's a lie. They want to start They want to start something new with you. They possibly want to offer you something. And they're coming in as a page. They ain't offering you too much of anything. This is very small. Whatever it is, it's very small. Look, the page of wands. They, this person is very immature. They want, And the Ace of Cups came out with this. Clarifying the Seven of Swords. This person probably going to tell you they love you. They want to get with you again on a sexual level. And that's possibly all they want. Mm-hmm. Because this person has a lot of secrets. Why is the moon here? This person is selfish. Selfish. They're regretting not giving you that new beginning. And that's what they, they secretly want to. And they're regretting that they didn't. Because this person was very selfish. Why is the seven of wands here? Now you're standing your ground. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, you're standing your ground. Because this person was not available for you. King of Cups in the reverse. This person is all over the place. Emotionally. And you had to quickly move away. But there's some quick fast communication coming in here. <clears throat> and you're going to. You possibly block communication. And this person is going crazy. <laughs> this person is going crazy. Why is a higher font here? Why is a higher font here? Why is a higher font here for Pisces? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> we have the hermit here. So somebody must have ghosted a commitment or a marriage here. <clears throat> and we have the two of cups and the seven of cups. So somebody was very confused, not emotionally available. They possibly ghosted their partner. Or maybe this is how this person was treating you. Because this person was in a commitment. Mm. Damn sure was in a commitment. Here's the higher font again. And the three of pentacles. Yeah, this person was in a family situation here. 
Yeah, they was in a family situation. Yep, this person was toxic. Got the devil here. Very toxic, very manipulative type of individual that you were dealing with. <clears throat> you were dealing with a very toxic individual, Pisces. Let's get some more. Give me some more information here that Pisces needs to know, guys. Angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What else does Pisces need to know? Give me some more information for Pisces, guys. More information for Pisces. More information. Somebody is heavily regretting how they treated you, Pisces. They are. <clears throat> the lovers could have been dealing with a Gemini. This person had to, had to make a decision between you and somebody else. And this was a hard decision for you to make. Possibly to get away from this person because y'all had a very strong connection. The Six of Wands. <clears throat> As I said, you had the Six of Wands here already on the table. This is you being prosperous, getting attention, being recognized. But somebody wants something, wants success with you. The Seven of Cups. But understand, this person is totally confused. Yeah, this person wants some passion. This person wants some passion, okay? The Ace of Wands. And you're starting something new and creative. Whatever you're starting new and creative is going to be very prosperous. It's going to be very successful. Yeah. Hermit. You you, you pretty much <sighs> um, focusing on you. You're getting closer to your spiritual side. You're doing a lot of, a lot of soul searching at this time. Yeah, you got your back turned. The three of wands. You're waiting on your ships to come in. And they are coming in. Yeah, we do have a married person here. We got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Let's get some information from my little deck that, I put, that I'm putting together here. What else we got for Pisces? Some more. What's the outcome? Give me an outcome here, guys. Give me an outcome for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Give me an outcome. Yeah, you're determined now, Pisces. It says <laughs> someone's in love with you. I'm in love with you. Yeah, that's a, it's a possibility because the person can't leave you alone. And they do want to come back. But is it just for sexual? Is it for their own self-gratification? Yeah. It's, it's a possibility because this person is a liar, a cheater, a thief. I mean, even if they didn't steal money from you, they stole your heart, you know, your time, all of that. Yeah, a new home. Some of you guys are going to be getting a new home. I did see the, um, did I see the Ace? Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, a new home, new money. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking good already. You're looking very abundant. So, yeah. You could have been dealing with a narcissist, too. Somebody that likes a lot of attention. Because you did have a six of wands twice. Okay, we had something turn over here. Let's get it. Long time coming. So, this situation was a long time coming. Where it possibly needed to end. A long time coming. And not sure. Somebody wasn't sure about you. Because they had other responsibilities too. Okay. This was a spiritual lesson, Pisces. This was a spiritual lesson. Cool. Yeah. Things are going to get balanced out for you. They're already being balanced out for you. God has your back. God has your back. And now this person is like, I want this commitment with you. But this person is lying. This person is lying, Pisces. They're not being honest with you still. They want one thing and then they're going to go back to where they came from. So, Pisces, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Love you.